Hi, I'm Carl Vuterville. I teach low brass at McPhail Center for Music. I'm happy to be with you today to give a little talk on the Minnesota All-State Jazz Audition Etude for Bass Trombone. Uh, first and foremost, I want to talk about the difference between classical style and jazz style. Okay, they're both totally legitimate forms of music, um, but they're different styles. Uh, in classical music, we really, really need to send the sound. We need to think about, you know, this is, this is a live performance with no microphones, and I'm in the back row of the orchestra or the back row of the band, and I have to get my sound all the way out there to somebody sitting in the very back row of this 2,000 seat hall with no electronic amplification. That's for classical music. So in classical music, we really want to play with a really supported sound. A lot of air support, really thinking about sending the sound to that person way back in the back of the, of the concert hall. Um, in jazz, we have to remember, jazz sort of came about during the electronic age. Um, jazz became popularized largely through recordings. Um, and concerts where there's some sort of electronic amplification. Now, of course, I'm making a huge generalization here, but um, there's definitely truth in what I'm saying. Um, so in jazz, a style has developed where you don't really have to put a whole lot of heft behind the sound all the time. You don't always have to be sending the sound to that, you know, little old lady in the back, back row. In jazz, you're kind of sending your sound to a microphone that's maybe, maybe right here. You know, So in jazz, instead of always having to think about sending the sound like we do in classical music, in jazz it's okay to sometimes, maybe the majority of the time, to think about letting your sound just sort of reside right here. So in classical music, if it's more like this, sending the sound, jazz could be more like this. I just have to get the sound to wherever the microphone is. Now, obviously, I played softer to illustrate the point, but I actually used a little bit less air support. I know your band directors are probably all going, no, don't say less air support. Um, but in terms of the style, it's, it's a little bit less, I, I, I have to make sure I say this without having a band director like kill me, but it's, it, it's a, the style's a little less intense. It's a little less, you know, labor intensive. Um, so when you're playing jazz, it's okay to kind of, you know, back off a little bit. Unless it's loud, then you go for it, you know. But um, this, the, the sound is different. Uh, we could go on and on and on, but I think I basically hit the, hit the main point there between the difference of, of jazz trombone playing and classical trombone playing.